Okay, so we're starting the last unit. Uh, not a terribly long unit, uh, and it's some geometry stuff. We'll start out with Pythagorean's theorem here in a second. I'm sure you've seen this before, Pythagorean's theorem, right triangle, fun stuff. All right, so first we start off with the anatomy um, of a right triangle. And so what we're looking at here, obviously right triangle is a triangle with a single right angle. Do need to remember, though, that the total degree measurement of any triangle is 180, right? So if it's a right triangle, half it's tied up in this right angle. The other, other two make up a total of 90. The sides that make up the right angle are called the legs. They're always the ones that make up the right angle. The opposite side, so the side opposite of the right angle, is called the hypotenuse. Say with me, fun word, hypotenuse. So again, it's the side opposite the right angle. It's always the longest side. Pythagorean's theorem is pretty straightforward. The sum of the squares of the measures of the legs of the right triangles equal to the square of the measure of the hypotenuse. So, let's put it simply. The hypotenuse is always going to be C in this formula. If you square it, it's equal to the other two sides squared then added. Notice squared then added, not added then squared. So, uh, if I were to pick some numbers, oh, say 3, oops, 3, uh, 5, and 4. What that says is, again, C is always the hypotenuse here. Uh, so what that's saying is that 5 squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. So 25 equals 9 plus 16, which is true. So that's Pythagorean's theorem. And we'll talk about how to solve for him here in just a moment. But again, I want you to see what it's actually, uh, what it looks like first. It's so Pythagorean's theorem. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem does not mean that uh, it's the opposite of. What it means is if I give you three lengths and they match up uh, to Pythagorean's theorem, like the one I just did. So if I say randomly three numbers, three, four, and five, remember you always know that the longest side um, is the hypotenuse. So does this make a, uh, does it make a, a right triangle? Well, you check it. You go five squared. Plus, equals, rather, 4 squared plus 3 squared. And if that's true, then yes, it's a right triangle. If it's not true, then no, it's not a right triangle. That's all there is to it. The converse, again, says, if I give you three magic side lengths, does that make up a right triangle? And if it fits Pythagorean's theorem, if it does, if it doesn't, then it can't be. Pythagorean triples are numbers that um, that are whole numbers, right? should say that first off. Uh, in fact, integers, really, that make up Pythagorean's... Uh, I guess they can't... I'm sorry. It does have to be whole numbers because they have to be positives. Um, anyway, make up Pythagorean's theorem. Make Pythagorean's theorem true. So like 3, 4, 5 is called Pythagorean triple. There are lots more of them, like... Uh, you could say 6, 8, 10, or... Five. There we go. Five, twelve, thirteen. Check them out. Make sure. Am I lying to you? Pythagorean triples. So put them in there. Remember, the longest side is always going to be the hypotenuse. All right. Last thing I want to draw your attention to here, and we're not doing this till the end of the unit, but I wanted to sort of uh, put this in your brain now. Um, we're going to talk about distance on a Cartesian, or on, a, on, a, on the, the, the plane that we're used to, right? Cartesian plane. Um, and we're going to talk about just two random points, any two points. We have to find the distance between them. Now, I'm not talking about along a straight line where you just count one, two, three, four, five, right? I'm talking about on a diagonal. The great thing is, if I take a diagonal line like this, I can turn it into a right triangle just by going straight down and straight over. And guess what? If I go straight down and straight over, I can count these, right? Like here I could count one, two, three, four, five, six. Here I could count one, two. And I could say something like uh, six squared plus two squared equals this other side, d squared, right? <clears throat> so I'd get 36 plus 4 equals d squared. And we could say 40 equals d squared. So d 
becomes the square root of 40, which, I mean, you could solve for pretty easily. You put it in your calculator, so. Um, but again, that's all it's doing is using Pythagorean's theorem um, to find that distance of that, that other side on a diagonal. So um, I just wanted to point that out to you now. You'll see that later. We'll do it at the end. But again, Pythagorean theorem is going to come back to be even more useful than you thought.